All right, now on to question seven, which is all about um, flooding in Cornwall and the Southwest. So a lot of cool information here. Um, so question 7a, using supply and demand diagrams, explain, and I'll just go through both of these right now, um, I, why house prices are likely to, to fall sharply in flood affected areas, and II, what might happen to the price and quantity of household flood defense devices being sold in the UK. So to begin, to begin with, 7a, II, um, we're just looking for influences on demand here, really. Um, so you'd want to have a a supply and demand diagram, and you want to just say that you know demand is affected because of I suppose you could say tastes, taste and fashion for for flood affected areas are really going to mean that people don't want to have houses there. So the demand is going to shift to the left, and we're basically saying you know what does the risk of a flood do? It means that nobody wants a house. People are thinking to themselves, there could be structural damage. They mentioned in the case study there could be waterborne diseases. Um, one thing that I would think to, that I was thinking about looking at this question is what's this going to do to your flood insurance if you if you buy in a place where you know that it's going to be that has been flooded? And I think that's really going to drive up your 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 flood insurance, which means that you're just not going to want to live there. Um, so so the demand is going to is going to shift left. Um, just thinking about this actually. A, a, pretty good explanation for if you wanted to focus on the sharp fall is you might even you might, you might have in, include something about the fact that the supply curve is possibly quite inelastic and so therefore the change in demand might really affect the prices more than the quantity sold um, going on to seven to seven AII and we're looking at flood defense systems now or sorry sorry flood defense devices and essentially what we're saying is that, you know, given the fact that there's increased risk of flooding across the, United, the UK, um, you're going to have more demand for these devices. And so therefore, increased risk of flooding shifts the demand curve to the right, and you're going to see a rise in the price and a rise in the quantity. Um, it's not a bad idea whenever you're analyzing these diagrams to really spell it out, the whole thing about the, the disequilibrium. And so if you say the demand shifts to the right, a good strategy is to say that at P1, after the demand curve shift, we have a situation of excess demand. And then using your analysis skills to say that in a situation of excess demand, you're going to see an upward, upward rise in prices so that, so that there's no longer... Um, so there's no longer a shortage of these, of these things. And so therefore, that's going to drive the price from P1 to P2. And uh, yeah, the, both of these questions were pretty well accessed. Um, just making sure that you know that theory and you can apply it consistently in, in that particular case.